If you need to calculate your average growth rate in Excel, I'm going to show you two ways to get it done. There is a formula for it, and then there is also just a mathematical equation that's actually pretty simple. So let me show you how it gets done. So to show that average growth rate, you're going to need your data in a table or even just in this format. So what we're going to do is this is where we want to show our average growth rate in percentage. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to hit the equals icon. And from here, you are going to type in RR. Now, this will give you the RRI equation. So this is the returns equivalent interest rates from investment. So let's click on that. And inside your brackets, this is where you need to start understanding your data. So the first thing is you'll see that there are six total years over here. And what we want is we want to year, use the six total years minus one. OK, so we're calculating from the first value to the last. So in this case, because I've got six rows, I'm going to enter in five there. And if you just use this menu over here, you'll see the symbol to use. I see some people use the comma. Depends on how Excel has been set up for you specifically. But what we're going to do is we're going to use that symbol over there. So we're going to put that symbol in over there. And then we are going to make a space. And the next thing that you need here is the uh, present value. All right. So your present value is the very first value. And you're going to click on the cell where that value is at. The same situation here is we are going to use that symbol again and we're going to say space. And the next thing that you need here, and it does give you a bit of a guide, is your future value. And your future value is the very last value over here. So let's go ahead and click on this. And what we're going to do from here is we are going to close brackets and we're going to hit enter. And you'll see that come out as a percentage over here. Now, there is also a manual equation that we can use here, and I'm going to show you that too. So you're going to start your equation out with equals again, and we are going to open bracket. Over here, you want to use your future value first. So let's use our future value, and we're going to go ahead and say divide, and we're going to divide it by our present value. From here, you are going to just close that bracket and you're going to use the power two, which is shift and six on your keyboard. It'll give you this symbol. And we're going to open up another set of brackets and we're going to go one divided by five. Let's close that bracket and we're going to say minus one and hit enter. You'll see here as well, it has given us the very same percentage. So there are two ways that you can calculate that average growth rate.